We start cross country today in Ottawa, where a man's best friend has been giving him a few problems lately. So the city is cracking down. It's issued a gag order on pets who destroy the public peace. Corey O'Kelly has that story. There are more than 30,000 dogs living in Ottawa. A lot of them spend their days and your nights barking. It used to take sworn statements from three people to get action from the city on a noisy dog. That will change. The city says in future, its animal control officers will do the work. And if two officers hear dogs barking, they will take that evidence to court if necessary, and we'll try to get convictions and some penalty for dog owners who let their animals irritate and, and become a noise nuisance in a neighborhood. A first conviction could cost you $53, then the fines go up. Some dogs are better barkers than others, like Pekingese and Maltese. Chihuahuas are very good barkers, so are poodles and huskies, and Cairn Terriers are very proud of their bark. Believe it or not, the city may even consider having noisy problem dogs operated on to remove their larynx. It's becoming popular in the United States, but Canada's Council on Animal Care objects to the practice. It's not an inhumane operation. Uh, it's simply that the dog sounds as if it's hoarse. And I find it uh, very distressing because I think the dog has a bad cold. One way to head off problems if you have a noisy dog is training it to be quiet. Squirting a dog with a water pistol or loudly shaking a can of rocks at it when it barks can be deterrence. So can strong verbal commands. The city will begin its crackdown on noisy dogs later this year. And officials say if you have a four-legged barking machine, you'd better learn how to control it or face the legal consequences. Corey O'Kelly, CBC News, Ottawa.